and people refer to this valve as a proportioning valve. It is actually called a combination valve. The name comes from its combination of several functions. From the master cylinder, brake fluid travels into the combination valve via two ports on the top of the valve. One is for your front brakes and the other is for your rear. Once inside the valve, the fluid for the front system passes through the metering valve. This holds off pressure on the front brakes, allowing the rear brakes to apply first in a disc drum vehicle. At a preset pressure, the fluid then travels to the front wheels. This happens through the two ports in the body. If desired, one of these can be plugged and not used. Also inside the valve is a pressure differential valve. This portion of the combination valve is for safety purposes. If pressure is lost on the front or rear anywhere in the system, this valve will slide, causing the electrical connector to turn the light on on the dash, then allow only half the valve to work. This should allow a person to limp their vehicle to a safer place to assess any brake issues. The proportioning valve is the last part of the combination valve. Under a heavy brake situation, such as a panic stop, the proportioning valve controls pressure to the rear wheels and prevents rear wheel lockup.